Thank you for visiting DIY Wedding Gowns. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to make the lawn of flowers. You will learn how to make one large flower and one small flower. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. First, you are going to print and cut the lana pattern from the link below. For the large flower, you are going to cut the felt with the pattern. Now cut the ruffle trim to 26 inches in length. Then start adding glue along the edge of the felt. Lay the ruffle trim onto the glue and then just press firmly down. And then flip it over to the back side and just add a dab of glue. And then all you're going to do is just fold over the ruffle trim and secure it. Now add glue along the edge of the felt and just lay the ruffle trim on top and go all the way around. Once you start getting to the second row, add glue very close to the bottom edge of the ruffled trim. Then press the trim firmly onto the glue. This way, you will not be able to see the felt in between the ruffles. Now continue to add the glue and lay the trim and work your way towards the center of the flower. Now once you get to the center of the flower, just add a dab of glue to the middle of the flower and fold the trim under and just lay it onto the glue. And now it should look like a flower. Next, I'm just going to take the decorative hairpin and just break the hairpin part off. Now add glue to the middle of the flower and then you're just going to lay your decorative design into the center and you are complete. For the small lana flower, you're going to repeat the process on a smaller scale. However, you are going to cut the ribbon at 6 inches in length. Here is the process for the small lana flower in high speed. And once you add the rhinestone, you are complete. If you are making the lana clutch, you will need three large flowers and six small flowers. And if you are making the lana headband, you will need one large flower and two small flowers. And all you have to do is glue on the flowers to the headband. And now you have this headband adorned with these lovely flowers. Thanks for visiting, and I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to make the lana clutch, please click on the image. If you would like to learn how to make other fabric flowers or other hair accessories, please click on one of the glitter buttons.